Hello and welcome to Calculus Extra Practice with Integration. What we're going to do now is continue working our integration by substitution problems. These are not necessarily harder, they're just giving you more practice because this does take practice. So let's just go ahead and jump in and see if you can identify before I tell you how you would substitute to make this problem work. So integral of 2x plus 3, x squared plus 3x plus 4, this entire quantity raised to the fifth power dx. So now's a good time to pause the video if you're uh, watching this here and want to work along and try to see if you can at least figure out what substitution to make in this problem. So what you're really trying to do obviously is integrate the thing, right? You know that elements of it you know how to integrate. You know how to integrate this by itself. You know that if all you have was this you can integrate that by itself. But the power here makes it tricky and also the stuff out here makes it tricky. Now I want you to realize though that this stuff is a pure polynomial. Everything under the uh, integrand and, and under the integral sign is uh, a pure polynomial. This is a polynomial, this is a polynomial, it's raised to the fifth power. So if you got desperate, I would never recommend this, but if you got desperate, you could actually multiply this stuff together five times. So quantity times quantity times quantity times quantity times quantity. And you could cross multiply all of those terms and get a giant polynomial. And then that would be multiplied still by this on the outside, which you could then distribute in, and you could get a giant polynomial for an answer. And you could integrate term by term by term. But that's not working smart, that's working hard. You know how to expand and bust the thing out and get the answer, but we want to find a, a substitution that works. So the first thing we want to try to do is to take the most complicated little term, the, the stuff inside of the parentheses here, and set it equal to u. And let's hypothetically do that, because this is what you'll be doing on a test. If I choose this as u, right, then if I take the derivative of the inside, I'm going to get 2x plus 3, because this is integral, the derivative of that is 0. So I have 2x plus 3. Whatever you choose for u, and you take that derivative, that's going to be on the bottom once you do all the plugging in business. So 2x plus 3 will be on the bottom. Looky here, that cancels exactly with what we have. So you're confident, 99.9% .9 sure, that that's probably the right answer for the substitution because you're looking for something that will cancel as a first cut sort of response. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do it right over here. Let's say we have u is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 4. Then that would mean that du dx would be equal to 2x plus 3. Right? Agreed? And that would mean if I solve for dx, which is what I'm always going to want to do, 1 over 2x plus 3 du. I just move the dx over here, divide by the whole quantity, and that's how I get this down here. So let's go and substitute in what we know in our problem. So integral of 2x plus 3 times. Here I have all this stuff raised to the fifth power, so it's really just u to the fifth power. You see how nice and simple this is compared to what we have. That's why another reason why we choose this. And then for dx we know that it's now equal to 1 over 2x plus 3 du. So we've chosen it specifically to cancel and basically get eliminated. Right? So what we have left is, we just write it here, integral u to the fifth du. That's all we have to solve and that is probably one of the simplest integrals we know how to do because of the fact that it's a simple polynomial. So it's 1 over the exponent plus 1, so 1 sixth, u to the 6 plus a constant of integration because there are no limits here. And this is the answer, but we want to always convert back. We don't want any u's in our final answer. That's 